When we started factoring, we looked at factoring things with four terms and found out with four terms we could use grouping. Factor the left side, factor the right side, and factor the binomial GCF. When there were three terms that we were factoring, we found we could use either a perfect square shortcut or a guess and check method to work our way to the binomials. When there are only two terms in the problem, like the examples we're going to see in this video, we're going to be looking for one of our factoring tricks. Our f one common, common factoring trick is the difference of squares. You recall when multiplying a sum and difference, a plus b times a minus b, we only had to multiply the first terms and the last terms, and that would end up with two things subtracted that we could take the square root of. This is what we're going to call a difference of squares and use the same shortcut backwards. We're going to factor it to a sum and difference of the square roots. So if we see a squared minus 81, two terms that we can take the square root of. The square root of a squared is a. The square root of 81 is 9. Two terms subtracted, the sum and the difference of squares is going to factor to the sum of the square roots, a plus 9, and the difference of the square roots, a minus 9. If we can take the square root of both, it's the sum and difference of the square roots. We can check this by multiplying it out. a times a is a squared. We know that the outside and inside are going to subtract to 0, and 9 times negative 9 is negative 81. It matches the original problem. Let's try a different example. 49x squared minus 25y squared. There's two terms, so I'm thinking shortcut. Can we take the square root of both? Yes, the square root of 49x squared is 7x. The square root of 25y squared is 5y. It's going to factor to the sum and difference of the square roots, 7x and 5y again. 7x plus 5y, 7x minus 5y. We have factored the difference of squares. It's really important to note, though, that this shortcut only works with difference or subtraction and squares, difference of squares. If we have a difference of squares, it factors to the sum and difference of the square roots.